Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashi Goyal and in this video we will discuss about some word problems on profit and loss. In the previous video, we discussed about the basic of profit and loss and its formula. If you have not watched that video, please first watch that video and write down the formulas of profit and loss and then come out to this video because the formula used in this video also. So let's begin this video with the first word problem. Yes. So the question said, a man sells a chair for Rs. 435 after purchasing it for Rs. 400. After purchasing it, that means the cost price of that chair is Rs. 400. And selling price, sales means selling price is Rs. 435. As you can see, selling price is greater than cost price. That means profit occurs. They said find profit or loss. So first we need to know that the profit occurs or the loss. That if the selling price is greater than cost price, that means profit occurs. So in this question, we need to find the profit. So the formula for profit is selling price minus cost price. Selling price is 435 and the cost price is 400. So the profit is 35. So we have a profit of rupees 35 on that chair. Now move forward to the next question. Yes, read this question. Akhil sold a pump for rupees 1360 and he bought it for rupees 1160. Bought means the cost price of that pump. So the CP is rupees 1660 and sold means SP of that pump is rupees 1360. So they said find his profit or loss. So what you can see the CP is greater than the SP. That means we have a loss because and we bought, we bought it for rupees 1,660, but when we sell, we sell it for rupees 1,360. That is loss. So the formula for loss is CP cost price minus selling price. The value of cost price is 1,660 and the value of selling price is 1,360. So when we subtract them, we get 300. So we have a loss of rupees. 300. I hope you understand this question. So try this question. Yes, first read this. Ashu bought. Bought means CP of a horse is rupees 7580. So he sold it by making a loss. This time they give you a value of loss. That means when he sells this, so he occurred a loss of rupees 520. So what is the selling price of the horse? First we write what is given. That is cost price. Cost price of horse is rupees 7580. And loss is rupees 520. So what will be the selling price? So the formula for selling price is when the loss is occurred is cost price minus loss. The value of cost price is 7,580 minus 520. So the loss is of eliminate 0 minus 0 is 0, 8 minus 2 is 6, 5 minus 5 is 0 and 7. So we have a selling price of rupees 7,000. 60. Yes. So our next question is a man buys a machine. He sells it for rupees 9580 and makes a profit of 2020. So what is the cost price of the machine? Try to calculate. First write down the values. He sells. Sells means SP. The value of selling price is rupees 9580 
and he makes a profit. Profit is rupees 2020. So what is the cost price? Formula of cost price when SB and profit is given is selling price minus profit. So if you want to know the initial price of that machine, so you need to calculate it from the profit. You need to subtract it. So the value of selling price is 9580 minus 2020. Yes. Zero, zero, zero. Eight minus two is six, five. And nine minus two is seven. So the cost price of that machine is 7560. Yes, now read this question. A computer is brought at rupees 31,000. So at what price should it be sold to make a profit of rupees 3,000? So they said at what price should it be sold? That means we have to find the value of SP. And brought means they have given you the value of CP. So CP of a computer is rupees 31,000. So they ask you what price? Should it sold to make a profit? They want a profit of rupees 3000. So profit is rupees 3000. So what would be the selling price? So calculating selling price when cost price and profit is given is cost price plus profit. It is rupees 31,000 plus 3000. That is 34,000. They must have to sell this computer at rupees 34,000 to make a profit of rupees 3,000. I hope you like this video. You understand all the questions. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video.